Hello, it's your boy Pastor Herbs back with another YouTube video. And today I'm going to be teaching you, Tekken players, how to get out of green ranks. Now, oh, excuse me. I know you're probably thinking, this guy, Pastor Herbs, you know, he's up here talking to me. Why does he have the audacity to come up here and wear an Adidas hat with a Nike shirt? Look, I know I don't have a Nike hat. I don't have an Adidas shirt. So I just had to, you know, just make it work. But that's not why you're here. You're here to learn about Tekken. So, yeah, with Tekken, the first thing I'm going to say is I'm going to give you guys three tips. So the first tip, very first one is learning how to do combos, and I mean the right combos, the optimal combos, the combos that are going to win you games. And I'm talking about wall splat combos, I'm talking about full damage combos, and I'm talking about Oki combos. If you don't know what that is, a wall splat is when you do a combo that pushes your opponent to the wall all the way juggling them to the wall getting a wall splat and then finishing the combo there a full damage combo you look it up on youtube same with the wall combo see whatever it is that gives you the highest amount of damage or if it's too hard you know one that's like a decent range of damage so you make sure that when you do juggle your opponent you're able to finish the round accordingly and a oki meaning a oki zime which stands for I think this is wake up. So it stands for knocking your opponent down and keeping them down like right in front of you. So you have the big, best wake up option. <laughs> Excuse me, the best wake up option when they wake up and you keep applying that pressure. Okay, the second thing I'm gonna say is whiffing. Stop whiffing. You cannot do that and then expect to win a game. It's not gonna work. You have to learn how to pull your punches, know how to choose your punches correctly. Can't be throwing out your limbs willy nilly and expecting them to connect. You actually have to, you know, try to pressure your opponent when you throw out that punch or you throw out that move. Make sure, you know, you're picking a positive plus frame move and you're actually connecting with your opponent, whether they block it or not. So you're not out just throwing buttons out there, just leaving it out there to the Tekken guys, hoping that you get a combo. It's not gonna work out, it's, it's, it's not, it's just not. You're gonna get launched, you're gonna get juggled and you're gonna lose rounds pointlessly because you know, you're just out here throwing throwing your hands in the air. Okay, and, oops. <laughs> okay, and the number three thing I'm gonna say is hang on to your rage when the round is about to be over and you have low health and do not use your rage art willy nilly. You have to learn how to control that. I actually recommend using your Rage Drive because it's actually safer. And most of the time it leaves you plus on block. I think the only one that has like a bad Rage Drive in a game is like Lars. But even with that, it'll still like transition you into a move. But again, like most of the characters on the cast, they have a plus frame Rage Drive that you can use absolutely safe can help you still apply pressure to your opponent still confuse your opponent and the ball will still be in your court even if the move you just see me losing too even if the move doesn't connect well I'm not so i'm not saying whiff but i'm saying even if the move doesn't you know actually hit your opponent and they block it the ball still in your ball still in your court like just you know just use a better option when you get nervous and it's the end of the round you just have that knee-jerk reaction to just press rage drive whatever you're if you have it you know assigned to a certain button or you just automatically press it every single time you have to stop it you have to stop it because people at the higher rank people in yellow rank they're automatically going to just snuff you out honestly people in green rank are still going to stuff you out but if you want to separate yourself from the other people that are green rank and get to yellow you have to make these you have to make these small changes but uh, again, that's not, that's all I had to say today, man. Didn't want to harp on it too much. Didn't want to beat a dead horse. But honestly, if you're taking these three things in consideration, learning the good combos, all you have to do is go on YouTube, learning the good combos for your character, getting comfortable with your character like that, knowing when to throw punches by not whiffing, you know, not just throwing out your limbs willy nilly and just praying to the Tekken gods, praying to me that you will actually launch launch that combo and, and you know, get where you want to be. And, you know, not using your rage drive, well, not using your rage art and using your rage drive instead. But again, all right, that's Path the Earth, guys. I'm out of here, peace. Deuces, deuces.